Well, g'day folks. Today we are looking at fuel filters. In this video it's going to be zip tie versus Golan. When I first got the bike I did put a fuel filter on here and I put the zip tie racing fuel filter on which you can see under there. A little bit of orange tucked away there. There's a full video on the install of that which you can check out up there. Part of this video will be to check out exactly how this is performed and see if it's collected any stuff inside and have a bit of a bit of a look see at that because I haven't had a I haven't pulled that apart yet. Just recently the folks at Golan Products sent me their latest fuel filter. So full disclosure, they sent this to me, I didn't buy it, but this is going to be my opinion. So they're not paying me to do this, this is just you know, they've sent me the product to review. When I was putting the uh, the, the different filter on here the important thing for me was the, the quick release fitting. Now zip tie was the only one that had that quick release fitting at the time. The Golan filter didn't have it. It had um, just the standard sort of hose clamp type type you know the barb ends on either end of the fit of the filter um, which meant clamps. And because there's not a lot of room here it's it's a bit difficult to run extra hose for that filter. So that's why I went with this, the zip tie version. It has the quick connect fitting on one end of it. Now, since then, Golan have created a new version of their compact filter, which does have the quick connect on one side. So today I'm just gonna be removing this one, pull it apart, have a look what's in there and reinstall the Golan version. And we'll run that for a while and see how it goes. Now, because this has already been installed, it should be relatively easy to remove. Um, the quick connect on one side, quick disconnect. Oh, come on. All right. And then the other side is just uh, the hose clamp that I've already put on here. So if you're doing this from scratch, from the factory one, you will have a different type of clamp on here. Um, you can check out my other video for removing of that, which wasn't pretty, or you can work out a better way to do it. Bit of fuel there. So straight away I can see it has been rubbing on the inside of the, the tank up in here. You can see some of that anodizing has worn off. And there's some more rubbing on the other side, probably from the hoses at the back there. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get this up on the bench, open her up and see what it's like inside. The thing that you have to keep in mind with these fuel filters is how you're going to open them up. I found it a little bit difficult because one side has a, a nut kind of um, machining. A standard bolt head type machining which is fine which is a 19 mil it's pretty big you might not have a 19 in your toolkit but anyway that's a 19 but the, the the body part of this doesn't have one on the back and it makes it difficult so I've had to go to like this massive spanner thing just to hold the body of this just so that I can open it up so again if you need to open this up on the out on the trail think about how you're going to do it so with a 19, I'll just loosen that off and it, that's done. And inside we've got, let's see if we can show you that. That's uh, a little bit of black stuff on there from uh, just, you know, a lot of fuel through it. I'll see if I can work out how many kilometres this might have seen. I'm not sure offhand. But there's no real sediment or anything, which is good. And um, I guess I haven't had any dodgy fuel. So now let's have a look at the Golan product. Now in the, in the box, you get the filter. You obviously get a, you get a little clamp to go on the hose clamp side. That's a replacement for the factory one that you're going to have to probably destroy to get off if you're swapping these over. Um, now the Golan version 
does have the sort of the mouldings on both ends of this which makes it easier to open. Now it's about a 15, it's not quite a, actually one side's exactly a 15, I don't know what the other side is, it's not a 14, but if you had a 15 it would probably work. I'm not sure what that is in uh, imperial measurements. We'll open him up and it's, uh, it's spring loaded. Now the two filters, they're different sizes but the, the diameter doesn't really tell the story. The zip tie version is a, it's a 10 micron filter and it is just a, a flat piece of you know, washable aluminium. Um, so great, washable 10 micron filter that big. The Golan version is smaller in diameter but it has all these little folds on it. It's like this concertina kind of uh, arrangement of the aluminium. Again it's a 10 micron washable aluminium but it's got all these folds in it which does make the surface area probably larger than this at a guess which I suppose is a good thing because it means you can you can uh, make the entire unit smaller. So more surface area with the folds in a smaller body unit. Now that could be important because as I pointed out, this one's actually been rubbing on the tank. So the tank sits you know, there and it sits in behind the tank and it's been rubbing on it. With this smaller unit, you can see how much smaller it is. It's probably not gonna rub on it. So we'll see about that when I uh, reinstall it. One other point of difference between the two, you can see with the quick connect fitting, the quick the zip tie version has a single O-ring, the Golan product has two O-rings. Whether that makes much difference, don't know, but two O-rings has got to be better than one, right? Maybe. So let's get this back together and we will uh, put it back, put it on the bike. Right, putting this back on should be fairly straightforward because I've already done the hard part, which is uh, the clamp side. So just push that over there, slide the clamp. Make sure you use good clamps for fuel injection hoses. You don't want normal, you know, the ring sort of clamps because they, uh, they pinch the hoses quick connect side. I guess this goes click. I can see straight away that there is absolutely no rubbing on the inside of the tank. So I think I think this the Golan version will suit it better. We can get a look at the clearance in there. So you can see now that that is completely clearing the tank and the cylinder head. My impressions are on the fitment. So they both fit, they both work well, both the zip tie and the Golan both work well in that they have the quick connect on one end uh, and the, the other side just slips onto the other end, which is great over a barb and they supply clamps for that, so which is fabulous. They both have the 10 micron uh, filter inside, both washable, cleanable. They both come in a range of colors, suit your, you know, your color scheme. Um, I'm going to give points though to the Golan one for fitment in that it fits this tank better because it doesn't rub on it. It's, it's a slightly smaller diameter unit than the, the zip tie. So this one fits this bike and this tank better than this one. But really that's all there is to it. As long as they both filter fuel and do what they're supposed to do, it's all good. Whichever one you get, it's going to be better than the factory one. Okay, so the factory witch's hat filter, it's tiny, doesn't have much surface area. I think I worked out in the last video, there's like 150 square millimeters of surface area versus about 600 square millimeters of surface area on this one. And it's hard to measure this one because of the folds in it, but I suspect it's even more than 600. So whichever one you get, it's better. 
For more information on the zip tie fuel filter and the surface area calculations that I did, check out the other video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.